Hey kings and queens, we are back and today we are coming with some more electric recipes. Today we're making quinoa and peas. Nope, not rice and peas, but quinoa and peas. So instead of using regular peas, we are going to use black chickpeas, also known as kala chana. For this recipe, you'll need one cup of kala chana. You'll be soaking it the night before for at least four to five hours before boiling it. This actually decreases the amount of cook time. Next, you're going to add three bay leaves to your peas, and then you're going to input five cups of spring water and this way it's to help the chickpeas cook completely all right guys so now we're gonna put we're gonna cook the kalachana for 40 minutes so now while the kalachana cooks i'm going to show you guys how to make your coconut milk from scratch if you already have a store-bought coconut milk you can skip this step but if not keep on watching I am using a mature coconut that can be found in a Chinese uh, grocery store so first you're gonna do is crack it make sure you get something sharp and uh, be very careful this can be a little tricky if you want to save the water from that coconut you can sometimes it's good sometimes it's not but I'm saving it because I love the taste of it so first you're gonna cut it in half and then you're gonna take the shell of the mature coconut off so you can get the meaty part, which is the insides. Coconut. And then after you're gonna put one, the coconut meat, this part of the coconut, into a blender. A high power blender is key because you wanna get it as smooth. Let's get all the milk out and then I'm gonna add two cups of water to the blender. You can blend it nice and smooth. Then you're gonna put the top on. Boom. Then you're gonna boil it. Then, then you're going to boil it. is straining it you can use a nut cheese bag or you can use a strainer whatever works for you all right see there you go you're gonna actually press down on this so you can get some more coconut milk okay so after you have boiled your chickpeas for 50 minutes and you soaked it overnight now it's time for you to input your quinoa. I'm gonna use the white quinoa, you can use whatever quinoa you would like. So we're gonna input about two cups of quinoa. Then the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna input two cups of our coconut milk. And add all of this electric goodness together. Next, we're going to input a scotch bonnet pepper. We're gonna add one scotch bonnet pepper. You can use African bird pepper in this. Do not open it, okay? Because if you open it, it's gonna be super spicy. I'm trying to do this as authentically Jamaican as possible, okay? But with electric ingredients. All right, guys, so for more flavor, I'm gonna add some thyme. I'm gonna add some scallion in there. And then we're gonna mix up all this goodness together. You have to make sure that your cheese, your chickpeas are al dente before you input the quinoa, okay? We're gonna let this cook down. And then we're gonna stay tuned for the final product. You're gonna let that cook down for 15 minutes. And when it's finished cooking, this is what it'll look like. Then you're gonna mix all of the ingredients together and this is the final product. You can pair this with our jerk mushrooms, our barbecue mushrooms, or some stew. There's so many things, but stay tuned for what we're gonna pair it with. We've decided to pair it with our jerk portobello. You can find this recipe in the link below. It's on our channel. So this is what the final product looks like. We've paired it with a kale, avocado, and mango salad we also added some red onions in there to spruce it up a bit 
And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.